Okay, so this all is my talk, one of the talks, talk, talk talks, I did not just say that. And basically, summary, steps you need to take to solve any talk questions is write the forces in. Step two, um, choose a point where it doesn't move. Choose your point of fulcrum. It's called a fulcrum. It may confuse you, but just think of it as this little point, the axis. Axis might make more sense. Axis. And step three, um, write in your talks. Okay, so here's our question. We have a 4,000 kilo, write that here, 4,000 kilogram uh, plank or whatever, suspended, oh no, supported by two pillars, and these are the distances, and they're asking us to find what's the force pushing up here. Okay, so your challenge, how do I get this phone to work? Your challenge is to write in all the forces within 30 seconds. Starts now. So I'll only give you 15 seconds. Yeah. Okay, 15 seconds to write in all the forces. So I'll show you now where the forces should be. Uh, it's a pretty bad diagram. But essentially, there's one force going down here, and that's 4,000 kilos times gravity makes 40,000. Okay, 40,000 newtons going down here. Now, where is it placed? We know it's in the middle of the beam, so it should be 6 meters from this side. Okay? Next, we have two forces pushing upwards from these pillars. Okay? So I'm going to call them F1 and F2. I know this is kind of messy. But hopefully that's okay for you. Okay, so F1, F2, and that's uh, 40,000 going down. Now, second part is we have to choose a fulcrum. So the obvious points to put, like we could choose any random point, but be best to put one of these three areas. Okay, are you ready? Choose one. Okay, cool. So, the fulcrum to choose, remember I said whatever, whatever point or axis we choose, the forces there don't, don't come into our equation. Okay? So considering that, we know this force going down. We want this force going up, F1, because that's what the question asks. We don't know what F2 is, and we don't care what it is. So let's choose the axis to be in there. Okay? The axis in there, now we can figure out the torque with that as the axis of the fulcrum. You now have 15 seconds, no, not 15 seconds. I'll give you 30 seconds to figure out the torque. Yeah. Go. On your own diagram. Three, two, one. Okay. So, what are the torques here? If we're considering point from point Y, first we have a torque going inwards of 40,000, and the distance is 2, because that's 8 meters, and this is 6 meters across. So, 40,000 times 2 in this direction. It's 80,000. Okay. Now, to go in the other direction, we have 8 meters and F1. Right? So the torque in that direction is 8, because that's 8, times F1. Now, as I said, with all torque questions, they just equal each other. Well, they don't always, but in all of your torque questions, where everything's stable, nothing's moving, um, then we just make them equal each other. 80,000, this torque in this direction, because of gravity, equals the torque in the other direction, because of our pillar. Therefore, F1 equals 10,000. 10,000 newtons. Okay, great. So that's an example of that. And it's a, uh, yeah.
it's, it's my first challenge type question, so I'm, I'm going to work with this time, I assume. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be showing you how to do things fast in the next two videos.